Today in this video, we will talk about initial load groups. This is a very import, important component uh, when we talk about SAP Central Finance. So as we are moving in the series, this is the 15th video of FAQ series where we are discussing uh, now in from last several videos, uh, we are talking, take quick questions from each topic and we discuss. So today, as I mentioned, it will be initial load groups. So the question first for today is, what is initial load group They're by definition? So to execute uh, initial load, and of course, if you have question, what is initial load? You have, you have other video available tool here. Uh, please understand what is initial load. Uh, so to execute initial load, you need to create initial load group, which is a container of the company code or a group of company code. So what you do is you take one company code from source system. Now, if you want to do the initial load for that company code, you cannot just go ahead and have the initial load by company code. So what you do, you create an initial load group. Under that, you put company code or you can put a group of company codes, one, two, three, and then you save it. So whenever you execute initial load, it will always ask for which initial load group you want to execute. It will never ask you which company code. So that's why initial load group is very important. How many company codes can be included? So technically, you, do, you don't have any limit. You can include multi, one or multiple company codes, but you have to be cautious when you take this decision that what is the volume of data in the source system for, the, for those company codes. If you have very large company codes in source system, so then you should not be able to, you sh we should not combine those company code into one load group because it will create a performance impact when you execute the initial load group. Or what you can do is, if you have one small company code and one large company code, then you can combine. And when I say small and large, it means by business operations of that company code, number of transactions in that company code. So you can pull that out from BKPF saying, okay, if you want to execute initial load for five months, how many entries are there in BKPF for that five months? If you see, okay, for one company code, it's just 2000 entry and another it's 1 million, you can combine. But if one is 1 million and another is also 2 million, then in total it would be 3 million, then you should not combine, you should execute it independently. Can initial load group be include company code from multiple system? Technically, yes, you have two source systems, you can say, okay, in this initial load group, I have one company code from this system and another company code from this system. Technically, it is possible, recommended is it is not. It is not recommended you combine multiple systems in one load group because if you have some technical challenge, if you have some failure, if you have some job issues, or if you have some document issues, then you will be, it will be very difficult to identify which system that document belongs. And then you have to really identify into drill down level. So that's why it's not recommended to make it ease and have a smooth initial load process. How it looks like, what are the steps? So this is a very high level step from configuration standpoint. So if you see, Screen number one, it says define initial load group. It is available in CFIN IMG. Then you go to the screen number two where you have defined, of course, it's a continuation from screen one. You have group ID and group description. So you can say, okay, group ID is one, two, three, four, and group description is initial load for American company codes, for example, or Asia, if you have like the way you have your source system is organized. And in each initial load group, you see once you save it, you have on the left hand side, you have assigned company code. So in the third process, when you when you save the initial load group, you double click on that, you select it and you double click on assign company code button and then you see logical systems and source company code. So here you select the right system, which source system and what company code of that system is included in this particular group. Once you save it, so then whenever you execute initial load, it will always ask for initial load group. And when you execute the initial load for this particular group, it will take the company code, which is included. So here you can add multiple company codes. Here you can add one company code as the way you think it is better. And the way I told you is recommended. So of course it is your decision when you execute it. And of course it's, it's a call of that time, how your company code looks like, how your load looks like, what is the volume of transaction? What is the duration of load? If it is, 12 months, 10 months data, or if it is just one month data, it all depends, you know, how, how it is, uh, how you want to organize it. 
so this is about initial load of course we will talk about execution of initial load when we move into other videos but uh, this was about initial load uh, groups so if you see just a summary of our digital learning platform so we are now at uh, video number 15 initial load groups we covered this and lot of other topics are already listed on the on this screen you can see our videos are available on the channel so keep liking the channel subscribing the channel share the channel and the videos with your peers and colleagues and do not forget to like it and also do not forget to share your experience as well as your comments and questions in the youtube comments i will for sure pick those questions and use it or answer, try to answer it in the in the next upcoming videos and of course i will also like to understand your experience how you have worked in your projects on these type of topics that's all for now thank you so much